everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and the Star Daily Card Reading for September 2nd, 2021. There is a big, beautiful rainbow that is right here, <laughs> like right out. This is where my patio is over here, and uh, it is gorgeous, really gorgeous. I may, well, you've seen rainbows. I don't know, but it's huge. Okay, anyway, what deck shall we use? We we'll use the Michael one. So September 2nd, Let's see what we have going on. So if you see me looking over here, <laughs> It's because of the rainbow. All right. Lots of blessings and balancing. Okay. There it is. Okay. Honor and trust your feelings. Before I even read the card, I was saying in the weekly, a lot of people, I should take a picture of that. And maybe put it in here okay first of all it's a double rainbow and what is even happening i don't know if you can see that but it's almost like that made it worse okay <laughs> so it's almost like the blues and the purples are kind of like repeating how gorgeous it's so intense if that's not blessings i don't know what is but we gotta do our work Okay, back to the message. Yeah. But a lot of people have been making choices based on this is the plan. This is how I set up my life. It can't go any other way. Okay. Even if, especially <laughs> once you get past middle age or you have your midlife crisis, like in your early 40s or whatever, and maybe you want a different career. This, unfortunately, this is where we see a lot of people getting divorces and things like that. But sometimes people will just hang on to the old way so much that it is to their detriment. It is to, you know, they, they're not giving themselves a chance to expand or try something new or, you know, to honor who they have become. Yes. All right. So it says, thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. Now, again, no judgment, but I'm not sitting here saying, okay, go off and have that affair. There's a messiness around that. I know that every situation is different, but from an energetic standpoint, it's entanglement. You're crossing timelines, okay? And you're never gonna truly be happy. Now, some people are gonna argue about that. You do you, I don't really care. Anyway, <laughs> trust and honor and trust your feelings. What this is saying is, is if you feel like there's a next step in your soul's growth, you need to honor that. Your intuition is telling you something, okay? Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like, let's say somebody comes up with a great job opportunity and you're like, no, I've been at my company for 20 years or whatever, you know, <laughs> I'm used to this. I'm afraid to step outside of my comfort zone, which is really what this is about. And um, I don't, you know, I don't know if I would fit in there. I just, I don't know. And so you don't give yourself a chance. You're right, it is a risk. Maybe it won't work. Who knows? But you won't know unless you try. Remember, regret is going to be a bigger wounding than failing. All right? So make sure that whatever, you know, I feel like there could be something coming up for some people today where it's like, okay, I need to stop and give this some consideration. Why is that in my life? Or why did that person show up in my world? Or why am I stuck on that scenario? Or why do I keep thinking about that one region? Do I want to move there? You know, it's that sort of thing. It doesn't mean that you have to like, you know, blow up your life and change everything and uproot everything. It doesn't mean that. It's just inviting you to honor your feelings and trust your intuition and see what messaging comes up for you personally, okay, around a certain person, place, or thing, <laughs> all right? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.